What's up everybody, Warehouse Goblin here, and in today's video, I am going to be showing you how the, to create finger transitions using Wondershare Pomora, and to be able to take those transitions and to import them into OBS to be able to use them on your uh, live streams on Twitch, YouTube, Kick, or whatever you choose to be able to stream to. Now remember, I stream on Twitch every Thursday and Saturday from 8 o'clock p.m. Eastern Standard Time until 11 or 12 o'clock at night. And just remember, if you like this video, to comment, share, like, and subscribe. All right, let's get into this. Okay, so once you have Wondershare Primora downloaded and you're ready to go, and you're going to end up with a, a blank canvas just like this right here. And uh, and you're wanting to be able to create these stinger transitions. You have all these different types of, of transitions in here. Now, these are preset. Now, there are ways of, of doing this without using these preset transitions. But there's some of them on here that are just really, really cool. And I, I've been trying to figure out a way in order to be able to use some of these transitions. Now, now this does not work for all of them. And for example, if it's a something that is a clear transition like this, that has a, a, a constant uh, transparent background, it, this will not work for that, okay? Uh, this is basically uh, for transitions that will cover the entire screen. You can use it for something like this. You can go with uh, smoke effects. You can go with um, anything that will at the uh, will take and cover the full screen and give you that effect uh, that the stinger transitions are really meant to do anyways. And uh, just like this one, you've got... Uh, it, it, uh, hopefully you can get the idea here, but it's uh, like this glitch transition works very well. Okay, there are several different things that you can use in order uh, to be able to create that that stinger transition, but you still want to be able to have that transparent background when you take it and transport it over into OBS. Okay, because traditionally, if you take it and just try to transport it in as a as an MP4 or anything like that, what it'll end up doing is it'll cause a uh, a black screen, and um, it's just it's just not going to look right. Okay. So the the main way to do this, okay, is to go up here and figure out what transition that you want, okay? And let's say, for example, that we want to go with, I don't know, um, let's see if we can find us a good one here. Here's a, here's a fire one. Okay, let's say that we want to go with this transition right here, this number six transition, all right? So what you're going to do is, is go ahead and, and highlight that one. So that way, when you come back to the transition tab, it'll be right there. Okay. But what you're going to do is go over here to stock media. Okay. And it doesn't matter what you use, but you need to go to your solid colors underneath your library. Okay. And as soon as you do that, you can use black, gray, whatever color. It doesn't matter. I just typically go with black. All right. You're going to put that down here in your timeline. All right. Just grab it. Click it, hold on to it, and bring it down to your timeline. All right? And then all you do is, is just shorten it up a little bit. Because, you know, your, most of your stinger transitions are probably not going to be longer than, I'd say, no longer than three to five seconds anyways. Okay? So just keep that in mind. And um, so shorten it down a little bit. And then go right here and click on this. Click on the on the on what you brought down into the timeline. Do a, do a right click and go up top. And you can hit copy here, or you can hit control C, either one. Hit copy. Okay, and once you've done that, grab your bar right here, your, your cutter tool bar, and just bring it over to the very end of this, this clip right here. All right. And then what you want to do is, is hit, you can either hit control V, which is what I'm doing here, or you can do a, a right click again, and you can go up here and you can hit paste. All right. Now, now that you have that, okay, what you want to do is, is on both of these, both of these, you want to go up to the top right where it says image. Make sure this image tab is selected, okay? Make sure your basic is selected. 
And then what you want to do is you want to scroll down until you see opacity. Take your opacity, grab a hold of this little bar here with your left mouse button, hold it down, and you can change it all the way to zero. Do that on both clips that you put in your timeline. Okay? So once you've done that, go back up here to your transitions and find the transition that you were wanting to use. Okay? Now, an easy way that you could do that is, is once you find something that you like, just go right here and click on that little star and it'll put it up in a favorite section. And you can go right here to mine and right here, here's favorites. And you can see right here, you've already got it. Okay. Now you can also, you can do, uh, upload your own that you like or something like that, make it in a, like some type of Photoshop or something like that. And, and you can upload them to, uh, uh, Femora in order to be able to use. For the sake of this video, we're going to be using this one right here. Okay. Now, what you got to do is, is make sure that these videos are, these two clips are close enough to each other so that when you bring this down, it's going to come right in between the two of these. All right. Now, you notice I had to do that just a little bit because if not, what it'll do, it will default. It'll, it will, um, default to one or the other. But it, all you got to do is if you're having trouble, just make sure that these are as close as possible to one another. Now, if you really need to know how close they are, all you got to do is go up here to your time, right, right where the set, and you see how the, the arrow changed, the cursor changed from just a regular cursor to one that's pointing left and right. Hold down your left uh, mouse button and you can expand that. And as you expand it, it will show you where the gap is or if there is any, okay? That will let you know. Now, if there is a gap, you want to make sure that that gap is closed. All right? But now that we've got that, here is our Stinger transition. Okay, now our transition is in place. Now, if you see here, you can play it. And there it is, okay? Now, what I like to try to do is... Go ahead and go back up here and extend this out just a little bit, okay? Because like I said, you, you don't really need a very long transition, okay? You want to try to shorten this because your transition, when you go to import it back over into OBS, that transition is going to play for whatever duration that this this has in here, okay? So what we're going to have to do is, is I'm going to shorten this up just a little bit, try to get it within the five second mark at least. Uh, let's see here. Go, there's five seconds here, right here, okay? And we're going to, now that we've got that, what we're going to do too is, is we're going to extend, click on your transition right here in the middle, and extend it out some, okay? Now when it plays, it's going to kind of look like this. Now if you want it a little bit quicker, you can. Which we can do that. Actually, I kind of like it a little bit better, a little bit quicker. Okay. And, and once you get into OBS, you can change the timing on this. Okay. Uh, let's do a little bit quicker. All right. Let's see how it does now. And honestly, what we need to do is, is make sure this starts a little bit quicker. All right. Now let's do it. Do what it looks like. I think that would actually be pretty cool. All right, so let's take a look at it. And uh, I, well, you know what? Let's do it just a little bit shorter. I know we're uh, taking a little bit of time to doing this, but here we go. Let's go just, just a little bit more. And, and what you got to do is, I mean, once you get into doing this, you just have to kind of sit here and just play with it a little bit to figure out exactly how quick that you want your transition to be. Okay, so I think that'll be good just for the sake of this video. So once you once you're satisfied with what type of what you want your transition to look like, then what you got to do is is go up here to your export. Okay, once you're in your export, go to your select local, and then choose the name that you want your transition to be called. And for this one, I'm just going to call it Fire Stinger. Uh, transition okay and then the next thing that you want to do is is go here and select the file now mine has already hit uh, selected it's a uh, stinger transitions 
file and leave the preset alone. And then the next thing you want to do is look at your format. Your format should read WebM. Okay. Um, for me, I always select higher quality. And the best that you can get on a WebM is 30 frames per second in Filmora. Uh, keep your resolution at 1920 by 1080, which would be fine. And then the next thing that you want to do is, is select this. If this is not selected, you need to turn it on. Export Alpha Channel. Okay. So once you've done that, go right here, hit Export. Okay. That's going to automatically upload it in, onto your computer for you to be able to now use in OBS Live Studio. Okay. Okay, so once you have created your, your Stinger transition in Filmora Wondershare, we're ready to take it and to upload it into OBS. Okay, so, so what you've got to do is, is when you're, when you open up OBS, um, you want to make sure that the, uh, scene transition dock is open on there. So it could be just, if you're, if you're kind of new to OBS and you're trying to figure out where it's at, um, it could, honestly, it could be, just about anywhere. Typically it's over here to the left. Now I've customized mine a little bit uh, to tailor to what I find easier to use. Um, but if you cannot find it, all you have to do is, is go up here to the top and select docs. And the docs will give you a, a, a drop down box, a drop down menu, and uh, go down to where you see scene transitions, click on it, and it will bring it up. Okay. Uh, once you've done that, you can put it wherever you want in here just by holding uh, going to scene transition left clicking holding it down and you can literally move this stinger transition or scene transition window anywhere you want okay so now now you're ready to ready to get the stinger transition set up and ready to go okay so what you do is, is you hit this plus sign go down select stinger transition all right name it whatever you want we're going to call it fire fire stinger okay hit okay and then what you're going to do is uh, this will pop up go to browse from video file find your transition that you made okay and it, it'll put it right here in this video file now the next step that you want to do is, is go ahead and scroll down and see where it says preview transition. This is where it's going to give you an idea of what this transition is going to look like so that you can time it correctly so that when you switch between scenes, it, it, it plays exactly where you need it to. Okay. So all you would do is, is hit preview transition and you can see that there's kind of a delay on the video. Okay. When, when you're doing this. So how you fix that is go up here. And you see where it says transition point. Okay. That's where you're going to fine tune this video so that when that fire transition hits, it falls right between the transition from one scene to the next to make it look good and smooth. Okay. So this is in milliseconds. And so remember that a thousand milliseconds is equal to one second. Okay. So when you do this, I'm going to start off with 1000. Okay and see where we go. I always start there. Now, if you got the really quick transition, you might have to go a little bit less. Okay. But, but to me, it seems like a, a good starting point is a thousand milliseconds. And then you go ahead and test it again, hit preview and see it was, it was actually pretty close there. Um, I'd like it to be a little bit quicker to hold back a little bit. So let's go to 11, let's try 1150. See how that does. Okay. So that looks like it's going to be pretty good. So once you're satisfied with that, um, all you do is, is hit OK. OK. Now, once you've hit OK, it's time to test it and see if it works. So we're at this uh, big screen zoom right here. Let's see here. Let's go to my uh, main gameplay scene. See how it does. Boom. There it is. Worked fantastic. Looks good. Let's try it again just to make sure. There's another scene. Here's my Christmas scene that I've been having. So. Um, as you can see, it's working very, very well. Going between each different scene, uh, it, it's at it's, it's the right timing, and uh, it looks great. It looks great. So guys, this right here is just one of the ways in Wondershare Filmora how that you can create a very quick and simple uh, a stinger transition that looks good, 
and uh, you can upload the OBS and you can use it in anything that you want. And uh, I think you, you guys will uh, really benefit from this. Now, um, I will, I'm going to try to uh, share this particular transition in the video. So go down to the comments and you sh there should be a, a, a link that you can click on and to get you to this transition that you can upload to your own uh, OBS studio and to be able to use. All right, so guys, I thank you for watching the video. If, remember, if you like what you see, like this video, remember to comment, like, share, and subscribe. All right, we'll see you guys later. Warehouse Goblin, signing out.